Hey everyone, welcome to Ratchet Gaming. In this video, I want to discuss the performance of Frost Seeders in Season of Discovery, why you should switch to them when there is no Frost Mage in raid, and highlight the pros and cons of including them in your raids. But before we dive in, as you probably already know, having Winter Shield is essential in raids, especially if you have a Fire Mage with a Frostfire build. Frostfire Mages are incredibly powerful in Season of Discovery, and if you're planning to play with fire in upcoming phases like Molten Core, you should consider switching to this build. In general, Frost Stealers do less healing than Arcane, but they offer higher DPS. There's a lot more information I'll be sharing with you along the way. So let's start with why you should switch to Frost Healer. The biggest reason, as already mentioned, is Winter's Shield. Frostfire Mages must have this buff for the best performance. When you switch to Frost Stealer, your healing will decrease, so it's advisable to try this build when a fight or raid is not healing intense, like in Season of Discovery Phase 3 where bosses are one shot and they are likely to die very quickly if you have a good raid. Before discussing the pros and cons of this build, let's cover the pros. Firstly, you gain insane utility buffs, you will have access to double ice block and shield which can save you in many scenarios. Additionally, you can activate double icy veins, providing a huge burst of damage. Lastly, you can also switch to blizzard build if future raids somehow require controlling ads. As for the cons, first healers will do less healing, almost comparable to weaker healers, so it's not too bad. Also, first consumes more mana than arcane and you will miss valuable talent picks in arcane as well. For the builds, I'll show you three different ones. The first one is the AoE Frost Healer. As you've been watching the raid, I was using Deep Frost talents and also employing Espel Frost Bolt to heal players. However, this build didn't perform as I expected and I'll tell you why. The idea was that since Frost Mages have huge critical damages, it should heal players for insanely large amounts, right? Well, sadly, it won't. The healing you receive will not be modified when you deal critical damage. Healing criticals and damage criticals are separate, which means you may sometimes deal normal damage but receive critical heals, yet you won't get big heals when you deal critical damage. There were also a slight mana issues compared to the past, but you can easily make it work by switching some runes. To improve this build, we can use single target frost healer approach. This means we focus on dealing more damage while constantly healing your tanks or a few people. In this build, we forget about mass regeneration and instead we opt for double icy veins. Not having mass regeneration means less healing on the raid, but instead we will have more time to pump DPS with the same utility as before. This build is perfect for healing up to 4 people while dealing tons of damage. The last build is the Arcane Blast Healer with Frost Talent. This build can work very well in healing intense fights if you must have Frost Utilities in your raid. Using this build means acting exactly like an Arcane Mage while playing with Frost Talent 3. We will use Arcane Blast stacks for big heals on mass regeneration or dealing more damage. So when the fight starts, you cast 5 Frost Bolts rank 1 which only takes 5 seconds and then you cast Frost Bolt occasionally to maintain Winter's Shield stacks. Other than that, your rotation will be exactly like an Arcane Mage. With this build, it doesn't really matter how you pick your Frost Talents because you will only use few of them. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts in the comment below. 